Hey, how's it going, Lace Network? This is Esquirrel, and I'm coming here today to kind of help go over some features and some functionality in the Kickstation, aka TKS. It's a very solid bot. It's recently been climbing in terms of resale value for good reason. It offers a lot of functionality, and truth be told, it's just overall really good. From the bot to the Discord, you're going to get basically what you pay for with this bot so we're gonna have a couple different videos that cover the entire thing so I'm just gonna be focusing on a couple pieces and the supplemental videos that we share within our cook group are gonna cover the rest so I'm gonna go ahead and be discussing watchdog tasks and how the monitor works alright so let's get into it So how we want to start this whole thing is basically just set up tasks to begin with. This is with the assumption that you've taken the time to put in all your proxies, your profiles, quick tasks, and you basically got everything behind the scenes set up. So we're going to go ahead and create actual tasks and let's do a realistic application of how Watchdog works. Let's say we got a big drop coming up for Yeezy Supply. And we have a the direct link would be the actual front page of EC Supply. So let me go ahead and pull that. All right, there it is. Uh, let's say the size breakdown. Of course, we're going to just fill this in. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in for you guys, and then we'll pick up as soon as I'm done. Okay, I got the task creator pretty much filled out. Uh, EC Supply direct link. We're going to do all profiles just for this example. Size is picked up. We've got a name for this whole thing, and we chose our proxies on the top right and we're just going to leave the delays as is for right now. Mode, we're going to just set it to extra safe for right now and we're going to be working with it a little bit to see that how we can mass change tasks and whatnot. So let's go ahead and save this. As soon as you see that this has finished, head over to your dashboard and here we have all of our easy supply tasks. So what is Watchdog in general? So Watchdog is a pretty sick um, setting with your tasks where you can set one task to be running and as soon as that first task that's running picks up the item that will kick off all the other tasks so why would you do that right why is that important well if it's for a shock drop for example or if it's if the password page has gone up on easy supply you probably don't want to have all your tasks running 24 7 right you're gonna end up burning through your proxy data so to help manage and keep everything kind of like in check you can set up watchdog when realistically you're only going to have one task and as soon as that one task sees the product that's going to kick off all your other tasks and you can basically use this to one save data and also catch shock drops realistically speaking because nothing's going to work nothing it will automatically kick off for you as soon as it finds what it is that you're looking for how do we set that up right it's, it's a super strong tool how's how do we get it going. All I have to do is select all the tasks that I want to be included into Watchdog and what I'm going to do is actually select all of them except one. And the reason I don't select one is because I need one task to be running and doing the scanning of sorts, right? That's going to be the actual dog. So I selected everything except one. I just chose the first one for simplicity. I click on Watchdog and on this list will be all of the tasks that you didn't highlight and these would be basically the leads these would be the dogs in this case so this is easy test number one which is the one up here so if I would double click it it assigns it now you have the dog which is up here and these are all bones so now all I have to do is kick off this task by itself and as soon as this task finds what I'm looking for, it'll start all these other ones. And it's really that simple. That's all Watchdog is. Um, it's a very strong feature. And if you have a certain situation where it's a potential shock drop, or you just want to be scanning for restocks, if you want to be saving data, if you know when the drop is coming, or having a very generalized idea when it's happening, Watchdog can be a very strong tool. Just to close it out, since this is something that would be run before the product is live we want to edit this first task when we set up our tasks to begin with we kind of set a delay of 15 to 25 which is something relatively low that's something that would fall under the category of a live drop since this is gonna be ran before it's live or 
in this case for easy supply when the password page is up we actually want to increase this to maybe like 5,000 to 10,000 we basically want to keep it really high you could even go higher than that 10k to 15k that doesn't sound too bad it's all subjective but basically you just want to have a very high delay so that this task does not get banned out through proxies and so all I would have to do now is just let's say an unrealistic price tag of 1000 and 1005 just so it actually doesn't pick something up because I'm pretty sure the hospital blues around there right now so if I just run it as is it might try to buy something and we don't do that so let's just say let's run this it's gonna and now it's gonna wait for products and this is basically how it looks it's looking for according to your task something that's between this price range on easy supply running with these proxies and as soon as it picks it up as soon as it sees it all these other tasks are going to run. Now by default, like we set up, all these tasks are running that 15 to 25 retry delay. So these are basically set up to run when it's live. So this is the, everything's set up, right? This is a pretty sick situation. Of course, if you also are fortunate enough to be part of the TKS Discord, they will be releasing a help guide to let you know how to set up for particular jobs very very good discord I cannot say that enough so that is watchdog and I hope this was a useful section cover the second thing I want to go over with you guys is actually using the monitor in TKS so we're gonna go ahead and select the monitor from the above row options and that's gonna bring up this window so this monitor task, you can make the comparison that's similar to Watchdog because it's kind of doing the same thing. If you're looking forward to a shock drop, monitoring would be a good option. So how you would set this up is basically just select the web page that you want to go for. Something cool in this case, say that it is, we're in October now. Say we are in October, it's late September, but we think the Travis Scotts are going to shock drop. Well. What we can do is set up our monitor for the website, use keywords, let me go ahead and just jump to when I have keywords typed in, and at a click of a button, we got everything filled in. Let's say these current keywords are valid. Of course, being part of a current group, we will be providing keywords that are as close to what we're going to be looking for as possible. Say, for the sake of example, these were good. Any size, we don't really care, we just want to cop. And it's say the price is around 225, so we set 224 to 226, so we get the exact sneaker, give it a name, and basically just hit save. And now you'll see down here that monitor connected has triggered. So this tells you that the monitor is now active. And when it picks something up on this Travis Scott page with these keywords in this price range, it will kick off quick tests because the monitor is looking for the item and I have set up TKS to instantly run and what it runs is using quick tasks so in quick tasks you set your defaults for when something you want to run is gonna happen this is also the setting that you set up when you are using lace networks bot buttons so let me pull those up so you can actually have good visual as to what that looks like and let's say for the sake of example that say it's not the hospital blues but say adidas dropped something that was really hot say there were some reflectives right our cook group provides monitors that have these buttons and several of you have asked before hey this button bot one bot two don't do anything for me well this is where it would come in if you set your quick tasks accordingly so this is for easy supply so if i go down to easy supply double click you'll see that this changed this changed because I have profiles, proxies, delays set up for quick tasks. Because as soon as I click bot one and I select TKS, it will jump over here and create tasks for me based on that button click. And so that's how you have the bot instantly start running. But it all starts here. It all starts with setting up your quick tasks. So in the event that the Travis Scott 
we have an idea that it's going to be dropping in the next 24 hours or so, you're going to want to head over to Quick Tasks, go to the website that we think it's going to drop in. I'm pretty sure that TKS will update the bot to have the actual link once they hear. If not, there is a way for you to manually add the website into the bot so that you can have it scanned for that. Be sure to look at the TKS guides. They also have a very strong set of instructions and their own videos to help set these things up. I cannot stress that enough. TKS is a very strong resource. Be sure to use their Discord and any documentation they release. It's incredibly useful. So for the sake of example, right now I don't have anything. So I would actually want to say, okay, let's get some profiles in here, some credit cards what I want to do to monitor when this thing runs let's keep it let's get a resimix let's keep it at resimix and size breakdown any available delays what they would be etc etc and this is going to be with respect to this monitor so once I hit save auto start say yes and we're going to do it in extra safe mode just because we're going to assume that the antibot is going to be active when these shoes drop and repetitions are limited you just do that by default and we're going to hit save now these three profiles are going to run as soon as this catches what we're scanning for in the monitor if we wanted more profiles to run we will be just select more profiles but keep in mind that we selected all any size available so if it catches in the monitor these three will run but if we use the least network monitoring if you were to come down here and do full size run section and you do FSR 1 then you're gonna run say you supply was also these three you're gonna run these three profiles for every size as opposed to running those three profiles for just one size right so if you know that you have already set it up and you supply for specific sizes that quick task would take that and that would run for you and so these quick tasks section and the monitor work in tandem to have tasks run as soon as it picks it up. Now I believe that is all I wanted to cover just in case it isn't covered somewhere else. Ch um, Shopify checkout URLs this is basically where you would put, put your webhook. If you put your webhook here what it will do is once it gets close to checking out it will send it to whatever discord you selected. In this case here's a web webhook and it will shoot it over to your bot and give you a checkout URL. So theoretically, all you would have to do is just click on this URL and you would instantly be buying the shoe. And this is a function that would be recommended to you by TKS when they're investigating what kind of drop is happening and what kind of information they have figured out. So be sure you keep an eye on them as they will be constantly updating as to how to increase your chances to cop. I'm pretty sure, speaking specifically to the Travis Scott 6s, that they will be updating very, very frequently. So, that pretty much covers what I wanted to talk about. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask us at any time. Be sure to utilize the TKS Discord. It's incredibly powerful. Be sure to submit a ticket if you need some one-on-one -on -one help. But with that, I'm going to let you guys get to it, and I'll catch you in success.